1227, King Henry III granted a charter to the Bishop of Salisbury to hold a fair on the third Monday in October. 700 years later, the annual Salisbury Fair was beyond exciting for me in the 1960s, with its rides, spinning colours, screams, shouts from excited adults and children alike as they revelled in the excitement of an autumn evening caught in the aroma of hot dogs, candy floss and toffee apples. For once, I was free to stand and stare, be with friends, to be part of an extraordinary event in this ancient market square. Norman Adams' painting, Christ's Entry into Jerusalem, captures an explosion of colour and joy, not at a fair, but a festival time nonetheless. Jesus, at the centre, rides a donkey accompanied by a foal, flags flying while the traditional palms are replaced by sunflowers. Now, walk, follow me into the painting, move among the bunting, decoration, children, adults rejoicing. Why are they there? For Jesus? Or simply following the crowd, being part of the excitement, a release from the rigour and boredom of the day. Standing Gloucester Cathedral, somewhere I know very well, stand, look up at the stained glass in either the east or west window. What you see is an explosion of light, colour, it crashes into our face, body, then soars downwards, seeking heart and soul. Christ, manifest in that ancient glass, seeks to shatter our illusions with a richness and luminosity we simply cannot escape. Christ in us, Christ with us, close to us, we don't recognise him, yet his light and life will fill us. Was this what Palm Sunday was all about? What all the noise and the fuss was about? I sit and ponder Adam's glorious, excitable painting and once again it draws me in, it encourages me to see something else, something different, something bigger, something new. For in the midst of the vibrancy, there is at the centre Jesus on a donkey, undisturbed by what's going on around him, travelling slowly through the events of Holy Week, Upper Room, Gethsemane, Cross, without looking at us. He calls each one of us to take that same journey into this week of tragedy, into joy.